Well, we caught up with Shin Fukai, and his walk-up music is uh, happy. And it's easy to be happy, have a big smile, when you're probably leading the tournament and catching them the way you want to. You know, Shin is a fantastic fisherman, known as a finesse fisherman, Japanese pro who's, uh, who's had a lot of success using wacky worm and drop shop, all, all his finesse stuff. But hey, here's the thing, he lives in East Texas. He lives close to me, he's close to Lake Fork, he knows bubba fishing, power fishing, and he's doing a one-two combo today. Bouncing around, he got a limit early, got about 10, 12 pound range, and caught a four pound kicker. Now we watched him, he's actually power fishing. A little bit dirtier water here, he's up in shallow cover, and we're talking like dirt shallow cover, but hey, these fish don't have a whole lot of options. There's not a whole lot of grass on here, so lay downs and grass and stuff. Any cover he can find, he's working it. Power fishing techniques, he's fishing slow but fast. By that I mean he's fishing, he's flipping, throws it in the key area, lets it soak a second, but boom, into the next one. So he's taking his time, but he's moving water. He's actually covering quite a bit of water. Even some frogging, some moving bait. So he's definitely looking for a big fish. This tournament's probably gonna be a little combo of that. It's not easy to just go get a limit. You can't go to a schooling spot or an offshore spot and just bang, 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 knock it out. You're gonna have to get, uh, you know, work for that limit each day. So his combination of that finesse, being able to grind out the limit, and then having the luxury of about five hours of just going for a big bite or two. He already has a four pounder. We saw him catch one, didn't help, but he's got a bunch of hours, you know, three, four, five hours left in the day still to, uh, to catch a great big one. So he's probably sitting there right now, that 10, 12 pound range. He's right at the lead, like I was saying. Brandon McMillan is fishing a small area. Uh, he caught some fish early, got a good limit, similar to that, haven't got the latest update, but he's right there as well. A number of other guys are going to hit that. Now here's the wild card. It's been sunny and slick, hot, I mean it's been kind of miserable to be honest so far this morning. Now the current's rolling down towards the west. We have storms coming from the west and wind blowing back the opposite way. It's starting to stack up the water a little bit. Just to the west of here, the town of Florence, there's a pretty good sized sell out there. You can't see it right now, but there's a storm that's gonna come in. But it's a summertime spotty showers. You can have, this lake is so long that on the west end of it, it can be thunder, lightning, guys have to take cover. On the east end, it never even blows or gets uh, rainy. These storms, when they blow in, especially on the shallow bite, I mean, it can turn the fish on. So we're, we're gonna see a lot of moving this afternoon. So the, the bites have been okay this morning. Guys have caught a few kickers. They gotta fill in limits. Other guys have limits, have to fill in with a kicker. The storms and the wind, I think the best bite is yet to come. So stay tuned. We're gonna see some big catches this afternoon.